Brother Mike back on the radio. Arizona, welcome to HardcoreChristianity.com. Jezebel, the church monster. Jezebel spirit. I'm going to explain it today from a biblical perspective and from a psychological perspective. If you've got a Jezebel in your church or in your living, you're living with one in your family, well, are you in some deep trouble? This powerful demon is a monster. Have you ever known anybody that had a Jezebel spirit? This powerful spirit is extremely dangerous. If this evil spirit enters your church, you're going to be in extremely dire straits shortly. The spirit is a male and it looks for, most of the time, female humans. And this spirit, this Jezebel spirit, usually always looks for an intelligent woman. And they look for women who had poor father figures and women who have been traumatized in childhood. The reason they're looking for women who've been traumatized in childhood is because they have to be let in to the person by another spirit, and it is the spirit of rejection. The rejection spirit is the most prevalent demon I see in my counseling practice, and it comes from um, abuse in childhood. Abuse, childhood pain, major disappointments, abandonment, divorce, things like that. Trauma in a child opens the door to the rejection demon. This Jezebel spirit is a man hater and a man controller. This spirit wants to be in control. And they're generally speaking psychologically attracted to men in authority. They're not looking for the janitor or the custodian at the church. They're looking for the male at the church who, is, who has authority and who is in control partial control or complete control, the pastor, the associate pastor, board members, things like that. They like men in authority. And they have a tremendous ability to uh, appear holy and repentant and humble in public, but behind the scenes, they are the opposite. They live unholy lives. They will not repent because they've got this rebellion sensation through their, in their spirit, and they are not humble. They're controllers, manipulators. And how they manipulate is very interesting. They use their, usually use their sensuality to control men. They also use public humiliation and sex. They love to control men through threatened public humiliation and through their sensuality and their sexuality. But in their private lives, publicly they appear holy. Privately they are not. The Jezebel spirit is basically a witchcraft demon. They're very religious, they're very spiritual, and they're very much in rebellion. They want to control others, they want to be in authority, and they use deceit and chronic manipulation to do that. And in the book of Revelation, something very interesting was illustrated to us. Jesus ran into this powerful demon a woman named Jezebel in the New Testament church. It's in Revelation chapter 2. Do you remember that? Jesus said, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants, teaching them and seducing them. Now, you see, it's a female who's in authority, who likes control, and who is a seducer, a manipulator. That's the Greek word planeo, and it means, it's a Greek verb, it means to deceive someone. And it says, Jesus says, she teaches and seduces them to commit fornication. That's the Greek word pornuo, it was a Greek verb, and it means to engage in some type of sexual immorality, and in this particular context, it was related to religion and idolatry. And Jesus said, this woman who is teaching, who's in control, who's seducing people, and are uh, teaching them to commit fornication and teaching them to commit religious idolatry. Jesus said, I gave her space to repent. He gave her a chance to repent. What a great illustration of the Son of God. Even this type of a person infected with this type of a superpower demon, he still prefers mercy and still prefers grace to help in time of need. What an incredible Savior and what an amazing Lord you are serving today. If you get involved with someone who has a Jezebel spirit, uh, you are going to at some point in time have thoughts of, my God, I've got to get out of here. And some people will actually pack up and run 
from women who have these powerful demons. These Jezebel demons always have relationship problems. They always have deep-seated self, uh, self-centered self insecurity, poor self-concepts. And these spirits are extremely difficult to get out, uh, will not change and will not repent and will not place themselves emotionally in a position to get healed. They have to be crushed. And so when you turn somebody over to the Lord who has a Jezebel spirit, they won't repent and cannot be delivered from this powerful demon until they are broken. So what usually happens is some kind of terrible negativity comes into the person's life, an accident, an illness, a death in the family, something that really shakes them to the core and then they will repent. If you have a Jezebel spirit and you want to be delivered and you're ready to repent and you've been broken, 602-636-5800. God wants to heal you and deliver you and give you the full power of the Holy Spirit and a true, broken, loving, humble heart.